I just didn't realize some of this stuff goes for some crazy money. Uh, this is it right here, Benchmade. Uh, this right here is from the storage unit. And uh, this thing right here sold for... Hey, what's going on everybody? Yo, what is good? Yo, it's the Georgia Picker back again with another video. Today is Sunday, November 1st. And for me, man, my mortgage is due. Uh, a couple other bills are due today. So uh, the sales today is what's going to be paying for majority of that. <laughs> so, uh, but no, for real though, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos, man. If you guys could please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and then comment down below anything and everything you guys want to say. Um, because honestly, all that does help me, and uh, it keeps me motivated to, uh, to keep posting these videos. So uh, I've been hard at it with the storage unit stuff. We've been making some great sales. Um, I've just been insanely busy, overwhelmingly busy. Um, I've never bought a storage unit before, and uh, it shows on how overwhelmed I am. <laughs> but we're slowly getting it together. We're slowly getting the stuff that we're going to be selling locally and on eBay, and then uh, you know stuff we're taking to the dump, and then, of course, uh, stuff that we're donating, and then stuff we're going to be using for garage sales. Uh, today is going to be the video of what has sold over the weekend. Now, we have sold 16 items for $519, so definitely not a bad overall weekend, and it's only noon on a Sunday, so we're probably going to be getting a few more uh, sales uh, later on during the day, but those will be for um, the week, uh, the whole week sales type stuff. So, uh, so yeah, we have 16 items going out for $519 and some change. So let's go ahead and get the picking. So the first thing going out is going to be a 1988 Hess toy truck. And it's actually going to be an L5. And uh, there it is right there. 1988. It's going to be a 1988 Hess truck. And let's see what this bad boy sold for. So this bad boy right here sold for $14.99 plus shipping. $25 all in on this deal. One thing too before we get into the further stuff. Uh, my buddy Tripp had another garage sale. Um, he's he's kind of getting out of the eBay business, and I picked up a whole bunch of stuff for really, 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 really cheap. Um, he also got me uh, to buy seven storage racks, like the ones I have in the loft. Seven storage racks for twenty bucks. <laughs> so, don't know where we're gonna put them, but you can never go wrong with a bunch of racks. And he gave me a bunch of totes for free as well. Um, so yeah, so we're still buying even after the storage unit. So. Sales have been kind of crazy, so I'm definitely happy about that. All right, next thing going on is going to be a Xbox 360 camouflage controller, and there is no. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. There's no. Uh, there's no skew on it, so it makes me feel like it's going to be down here in the loose bin, but it's not. It's not going to be there. I bet you it's in here. Let me see here. Yes, it is. Okay. I knew there was a reason why I knew where I was going to put it. So this right here is a camouflage edition Xbox 360 controller. This sold for $11.49 plus shipping. Um, I'm already weighing the green on this deal. Um, I just feel like cutting somebody a deal. But $11.49 for an Xbox 360 controller camouflage edition, that's not bad. So I'm happy to see that go. The next thing going out, though, is going to be uh, one of my coolest finds. I paid 5 bucks for it. And uh, it's going to be an LSU uh, Tigers NCAA helmet. It's a display piece it's a, uh, or a display model. And this is the first time I've ever bought <laughs> a Rydell display helmet. But this is what it looks like. But it's actually in really good condition. Very, very nice. Um, I didn't even have to clean it up, to be honest. The dude said, he was like, yeah, I just want to get rid of it. So, um, but I feel, I feel like LSU is a very collectible team. So, I don't know. But this is a helmet trophy, a display piece, and this bad boy right here sold for $45 plus shipping, $64 all in on this uh, on this helmet. So if you guys find these, this could be a potential bolo item. Uh, any kind of Rydell stuff can go for some big money, so make sure you guys find these out in the wild if you guys can. All right, next thing going out is going to be actually something that I got from the storage unit. Um, I, I was kind of going through some stuff and brought a bunch of stuff upstairs and I've been kind of listing here and there but ultimately I'm trying to get everything organized but this is one of the stuff uh, one of the things from the storage unit and it's gonna be an L2 so L2 is gonna be right here on the ground as you guys see there's still a little little dust on it so we'll make sure we clean that up um, 
but has a little bit of yellowing i don't think i actually disclosed that to be honest but it is brand new sealed this bad boy right here sold for so this is before i tell you guys what that is but it's a road xt home kit i guess it, it's like an xm radio thing i don't know uh, but it did sell. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping $26.57 all in on the XM radio thing. All right. Next thing going out. I've had this for... I think I got this at Tripp's garage sale. His garage sale or maybe a storage unit. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but this is going to be a Police Patrol 1988 Chevy Caprice. Louisiana State Police. All right. So there it is. Right now. Brand new. 1988 Chevy, uh, Chevrolet Caprice. This right here is surprisingly sold for $20 free shipping. So, I'm going to get kind of into something kind of technical here. So, the next thing that's going on is going to be a Benchmade uh, USA Dive Knife. Um, the model number is 100SH20, and it's, a, it's basically a diver knife. So, I guess essentially they don't rust or whatever. I don't know. Um, but it comes with the sheath, um, and this one is actually a rare one. Um, I found this in the storage unit. So anytime you guys find bench made stuff, so bench made HK, that type of stuff, those things go for big money. And keep in mind, this is a brand new knife, never used, um, got it in the storage unit. And let's go ahead and pull it. It's going to be an M5, and you guys are about to uh, lose your mind on how much a knife so, uh, sold for. Uh, because whenever I was looking some of this stuff up, I just didn't realize some of this stuff goes for some crazy money. Uh, this is it right here, bench made. Uh, this right here is from the storage unit, and uh, this thing right here sold for $140 plus shipping, $160 all in on this knife. Um, this is the logo right here, bench made, and then this is the model number. So, if you guys ever find bench made knife stuff, uh, potentially pick it up because these things right here go for some great money but hundred and sixty dollars all in on this one single knife and keep in mind in that storage unit I spent nine hundred and forty dollars speaking of the knives we, we also have four more HK knives uh, that are actually brand new um, in the packaging which I should hopefully get 150 bucks a piece for those but this right here is one of the loose ones HK tactical knife they're actually military graded and there's only 500 of these made and I have five of them so that's why these go for some big money so just wanted to let you guys know that some knowledge for you guys for knives because I didn't know either until I did my research. Next thing going out is going to be a Batman Return to Arkham. Uh, and it's going to be two discs. It's going to be for Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Uh, this right here. So two games in here sold for $14.95 uh, free shipping. So this actually sold really quick. And that right there is also from the storage unit. So a lot of stuff that I listed from the storage unit is not that much. I probably listed maybe... 15 things and we're already seeing sales for us. So that's that's a really really good sign next thing going out is going to be a oh, oh wow okay so this is going to be in the loft so this is going to be from a garage sale probably about two two weekends ago three weekends ago and i bought that adobe photoshop elements uh like like photoshop type stuff uh, a couple keyboards that weren't really worth a whole lot but the dude actually gave me a bunch of free porsche panorama uh magazines and somebody bought them all so give me one sec so i can pull them out well, actually i ain't gonna pull them out right now i'll just grab one for reference <laughs> and uh that way you guys can see them but there's 32 of them they're over here on my big shelf but this is what they look like porsche panorama and keep in mind i have 32 of these and i got them for free and 32 of them sold for 39.99 plus shipping 61 dollars on the magazines Next thing going out, okay, I guess we sold another one. I guess I could have pulled this out. Uh, it's going to be another one of those, uh, uh, I'm not going to put a sold comp on there, but you guys know what you know the deal. Uh, it's another one of these 1988 Hess trucks. I guess we sold both of them. This one, too, also sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Um, $23 all in on this one so and they are the exact same there's no difference <laughs> uh, I bought a box of Hot Wheels stuff and those uh, Hess trucks for 20 bucks I've already made my money back on all the Hot Wheels stuff um, so all that all these trucks right or those two trucks right there are pure profit uh, next thing going out all right cool it's gonna be another one of those uh, battery chargers it's gonna be for the skill ones um, it's not the actual battery but it is a battery charger so I got one more 
of these uh, Craftsman batteries left. <laughs> and I bought the whole box for 10 bucks and I probably I made about 140, 150 bucks on everything. So uh, that's kind of icing on the cake here. Uh, this right here sold, so the battery charger sold for $24.95 free shipping. And this actually could go first class. It's actually very light, but basically 25 bucks on that piece over there. Uh, next thing going out, I, I had no idea what this was. I bought this when I first started getting into reselling. Uh, I got $2.99 into it. Um, I'm probably making a little bit of money, maybe like a dollar or two. Um, but it's going to be a Looney Tunes 90s men like t-shirts, I guess. I mean, I honestly have no idea. Um, but this is what it looks like. I'll show you guys. This is what it looks like. Um, you know, it's double stitch I, I i honestly have no idea so it's definitely not single stitch and I, I made sure i didn't put that in the in the listing but it says villain if you guys know marvin the martian so uh looney tunes large 100 percent cotton i don't know but uh but yeah this sold <laughs> this sold for uh 6.99 plus shipping 12 dollars all in on marvin the martian all right guys next thing going out is uh going to be something that i I believe I picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar. I did. Picked it up at a garage sale for a dollar. It's going to be an M2. It's going to be a Linksys, like, uh, five-port Ethernet thing. I think it was M2. <laughs> yeah, M2 right there. Yeah, if you guys want to see the HK knives, this is what they actually look like in the brand-new packaging. But these things go for crazy money. 374 out of 500 production. This is the first production, too, so that's what they look like. But anyways, but yeah. This is right here. Pretty sure I got this at the, uh, at a garage sale for a dollar. So this is a five port giga, gigabyte Ethernet switch. I wanted nine. I wanted nineteen ninety nine free shipping, but somebody offered eighteen bucks. So I was like, you know what? Two bucks off. Why not? So eighteen bucks free shipping on that piece right there. Finally, we have exactly one, two, three. We have four. Four Bloodhound Funko Pops going out, and I have I have four right here. So this is what they look like. We got four of these going out for four ninety nine plus shipping, um, all around the mark of about eleven to twelve bucks uh, shipped. So uh, yeah, so we sold four of those. With the storage unit stuff, I'll just 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 know that I'm honestly just I'm trying my best to get a lot of footage for you guys. Um, my first one I ever bought, and it's just insane. Um, of how much stuff I had to go through. Um, but the plans for this week, I'm gonna get a lot of stuff that is in the garage. I'm gonna get that up here um, and processed. Um, all this stuff here is unprocessed goods <laughs> that we're gonna be selling. A lot of Hot Wheels stuff. Like, like I said, I've had these Hot Wheels for since the beginning of time. Uh, I still gotta test these. Bunch of Hot Wheels stuff in there. You know, clock, whatever. There's a lot of stuff we gotta do, right? That's just the part of being an eBay reseller and there's just so much stuff you don't wanna put your time into even though, you know, kind of need to but however no excuses we're going to be moving all this into the loft that way this can be cleared out um what i'm going to do i'm going to move these hot wheels stuff because they're not technically on anything i'm going to move this to the rack out there and then we're going to consolidate all these fungal pops onto this rack here that way we could put another rack right here sounds good right so and it frees up that tote down there and uh it makes it a little bit you know a little bit more organized and we're gonna get rid of this and you know, i got some trash laying around um but then what we're gonna do since we have seven racks we're gonna put another maybe two right here i'm thinking maybe two will fit right here maybe one i don't know hopefully two though uh but i don't see two fitting there so it's possibly gonna be one there there's probably gonna be one more right here too um but all this, all this wall is going to be is just unprocessed stuff that we haven't gone through. Um, and yeah, we still have, you know, we put totes up here. And I'm on the verge of getting a storage unit and putting the rest of the racks in the storage unit. That way we have more room up here and everything's not crazy cluttered. I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek. Um, if you guys have not been really watching, we have tons of these knives down here that are just kind of loose. Don't know what they go for. I haven't looked in. This is all the stuff I haven't really looked up. But these are uh, Case XX knives. They're really pretty. Um, random box. Got some programmer stuff that can go for some good money. Tons. Of, uh, we got like three of these super chips. And we got tons of these knives and magazines. And so, yeah, I mean, we got Germany stuff, German knives. Got some Keens that we set the list. These things, are, these things are actually in really good condition. 
Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, we're listing now. We're listing for sure. Um, this uh, Yamaha keyboard actually sold. We're just waiting on the payment for that. Um, but yeah, we've just been busy, man. We've been busy. All this stuff's trash. But tons and tons of stuff, man. Look, we got Nintendo NES out that we have to test. We have all that, all that thing in that case right there is filled with comics. That's comics. Uh, this is the Hess trucks I was telling you guys about that I got for 20 bucks. So I mean, I already doubled my money on everything. Um, just random stuff. I mean, it's the juicer stuff. I mean, yeah, yeah. You guys know the deal, man. I need to hire somebody, somebody who work for free. <laughs> um, but no, but all, in all seriousness though, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, uh, hit the post notification bell. That way you guys know whenever I upload a video. Um, and I'm going to keep trying to bust out these videos for you guys. Um, one thing too, I did not go garage selling this weekend, except for to the one that I went to for a uh, trip. That is the only one I went to because we have so much stuff to do. So um, we did go garage selling. Plus there wasn't that many going on anyways. And the weather's changing a little big and a little colder. Uh, so... I'm going to try to do my best to bring you guys as much content as possible. If you guys want to see anything specific, comment down below as well, and I can see what I can do. Uh, but yeah, much love. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys uh, next video. It's your boy, the Georgia Pick of the Young Jedi. Peace!